Welcome back Moto Tubers. Today we've got the beginnings of a project bike here. This is a 1994 Suzuki Jixer 750. It's already got Yoshimura pipe on it. It comes stock with polished aluminum frame, dual disc floating rotor front brakes, Tokiko tank doesn't have any dents, body straight, frame straight, just a few cosmetics. I'm gonna go through this bike, clean out the fuel, change all the fluids, go through the carburetors, chain drive. Bike came stock with anodized, blue anodized front forks. This bike has quad Makuni carbs. Next project bike, here we go. Okay, so far on this 1994 Jixer 750, I've pulled the plastics, noticed a few things. Noticed there's some scuff marks, bolts that look like they've been ground down on the ground and things like that. I also noticed this lever's bent, so this side's definitely been dropped. Got all the fairings off, plastics off, front end exposed engines exposed got the gas tank off it's in uh definitely fairly stock shape nobody's gotten in and done anything too significant to it got some pretty interesting electrical butt connectors and things like this that we're going to go through and fix definitely do something to this rear end here check all the fluids get caps that are missing but this is where we're at so far just pulling it apart getting an eye on what we're working with i'm liking it so far it's a low mileage bike 17,000 miles on it there so we're going to definitely be putting some work into this bike turning it around and uh, getting it back out on the streets yeah We'll be fixing all this stuff. Here we've got the plastics or fairings. Probably gonna get those painted, maybe replaced. I see there's some cracks, dings, cuts, chips. We'll see where we're at with that. Gonna do a little more research. Tires are good on this. I love that beefy rear swing arm. Bike starts and runs great. So now we're just gonna go through and fix all these little issues to make this bike operational and ready for the streets. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start drain all the fluids, replace the filters, spark plugs, things like that. Let's get to it. Got a new grip to put on here today, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Look guys, I just have to say, quit using cheap hardware. Look at this rusted thing. So rusted in there, I had to pound it out with a hammer. This is just cheap. Don't do this stuff. All right? All right. All 
Got some decent hardware in there now. Matching grips, matching bar ends. Bikes coming together. All right, got another part here. Jixer 750. Some CNC levers. Fully adjustable. Let's go get them put on. levers went on pretty easy one bolt here the whole brake lever comes out new one slides in bolt back in super simple easy install this other side I would call it equally as simple you just need to remember that inside of this clutch perch there is a switch that has a tab that needs to slide into this portion here so that's the only thing to remember there. Other than that, it's just a 10 millimeter. Real super simple to swap out. Well, I just managed to pull the oil filter off and I have to say the location of the oil filter is behind this cage of headers back in there. Minimal drip on the exhaust, this is a tight squeeze. They did not make this easy to get to at all if you're just looking to do an oil change and not pull the exhaust and radiator. So there's the oil filter. Now we're gonna put the new one on. The manual calls for 2.6 quarts. And if you were curious, this has what's called a wet clutch. So it just takes oil because the clutch is lubricated by the same oil the engine is. This is the viewport for your oil fill. The F means full, L means low. Oil level to be at full. Next, we're going to change out spark plugs. Most spark plugs come gapped from the factory, but for these particular ones on this 1994 GSXR 750, you want to flip to the millimeter side of your gap tool. This is the inches side. This is the millimeter side. Where you're going to want it is right there between 0.6 and 0.7. A new chain, new springs for the exhaust clamps, and I had to order a new chain tool. So we'll be using all that today.
We've got the tank on, mounted, new fuel lines. I go pick up the paint set today, freshly painted by our local paint shop. Spike will be for sale soon. Hit us up at thompsoncustombikes.com. Shoot us an email, text, direct message. Let's go pick up this paint set. All right, MotoTubers, I just wanted to point out a couple little things I've noticed putting this Suzuki Jixxer 750 together after paint, after getting prepped. The rear taillight has to be installed on the two fairings before it slides down on the tail of the bike. They got those screws that need to be screwed in on the back side. So this has to come back off. Lesson learned, maybe it'll help you. Also, on the front end, this gauge cluster is held on with three 10 millimeter bolts. You have to put the fairing on first, right here, because this gets in the way. So leave this off fairing on first and then put the gauges back in place. It's gonna be a tight squeeze to get to those bolts down there, but you can't get to these screws here, here and here, with that gauge cluster in the way. So there's just a couple things putting this Jixer 750 back together that I noticed and I wanted to share with you guys. It's going back together real smooth. Well, we're all finished with this 1994 Suzuki Jixxer 750. This is a clean bike. It's been fully gone through here at Thompson Custom Bikes. It's got a Yoshimura exhaust on it. All the tail lights work, blinkers work, running lights work. Brand new chain, new shift lever, original graphics. Dual disc front brakes, blue anodized front forks. This thing starts, runs, and rips. 17,000 miles.